Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this mechanism in SOLIDWORKS. Before I start, make sure that you check out my new Facebook page and Twitter account. If you love to see engineering things, you will learn a lot of things there. I will uh, because I will post the latest contents. Okay, so let's start. So what I will do, as you can see that I am currently in assembly mode. So I will make all my parts in assembly mode for the sake of simplicity. So how should I approach? So first click on insert components, click on new part. Select a plane as per your requirement. In my case, I am selecting the right plane. Press Ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Click on line tool and draw some lines. You can also check out free SOLIDWORKS course, link in description. Draw the line like this. Escape. Escape like this. Make it horizontal. Now go to the smart dimensions and start giving the dimensions. Uh, it will be 300. Press escape. Select this point by pressing control. Select this point. Make it constant. Give it a thickness of 20 mm. All dimensions are in mm. 10 mm. 20 mm. 10. 10. Uh, go to the features, click on a revolve post space, select a edge, in my case this one is fine, click ok, now what I will do, I will select this face, click on sketch, draw a simple center line, press escape, click on here, decrease it to 3, now if I try to draw, it will draw a something called triangle and it is basically what I want press escape to exit this command select this line by pressing the mouse like this line make sure it's coincident go to the circles and I will define some distance here it will be 250 and the diameter will be 25 escape like this line, press Ctrl Z. I was over defining it. Uh, now, what I will do, I will go to let's see, fully defined laser. Yeah, fully defined sketch. Click OK. Now it is fully defined. My sketch is fully defined now. Now, what I will do, I will go on, click on here, circular sketch pattern. Select a point that, that is basically the reference point, in my case the origin. Now which entity I want to pattern, I want to pattern this triangle thing. Increase the number of uh, pattern as per your requirements. In my case 20 is fine. Click OK. Go to the features, click on extrude for space. 10 mm is fine, click OK. Select this face, press Ctrl plus 8. Press Ctrl Z accidentally uh, go to the sketch mode. Go to the features, click on fillet. Uh, sorry, chamfer. Select this edge and this edge. Give it a thickness of 5. Click OK. Select this face, click on sketch. Now I will draw a circle, draw a circle here, give it a desired diameter, in my case 20 mm is fine and the distance will be 170, press escape, select this point by pressing button select like this point, make it horizontal, ok make it vertical, uh, delete this, select this and delete this one. Select this and select this. In this case, it's the vertical one. Uh, doesn't matter where it's the location because it is going to be rotate. So it, it doesn't matter much. Go to the features, click on extrude post space. Give it a thickness as per your requirement. 50 mm is fine for me. 
select this face click on select turn on is ok no issues now exit the disabling component mode now what i have to do is first i have to create a sketch so select the front plane of the assembly and i will draw a simple center line the sole purpose of the center line is uh, is to just you know play, uh, place this disc correctly that's all so i will click on here select this face and select this line make sure it is concentric click ok select this face and select the top plane click ok select this face press ctrl plus a notice i can rotate it and it is basically what i want now i will make a another face so what i will do click on here create new part select a face make sure no external reference is checked on else you will face a lot of issues <clears throat> now draw a circle here give it a diameter as per your requirement in my case 460 is fine press escape select these two points make it constant <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is not that good today. Draw a line here. Make sure it's uh, vertical and give some distance from the center of origin. 60 in my case. Trim the recess entries. Go to the fillet. click ok <coughs> click on here click on center point R escape now I need to give some radius so how much 170 by 170 uh, if you watch the video carefully, then you know that the center of distance from here is 170. Uh, I'm talking about this pin, okay? And let's give them some areas as well. So, 10. 10 here. Okay. Press escape, select this point and this point. Okay, I can't hold it. Okay. Select this line, make it vertical, and select the state slot, mirror entities so what i want to mirror i want to mirror this slot about what this line click ok now i will go to the trim entities trim the lines slot basically ok ok <coughs> repeat the step at the bottom one Go to the features click on extrude you would a thickness as per requirement 30 is fine for me click ok <coughs> select this face click on sketch
टू ए सेंट्रल एंड फर्स्ट स्केप ड्रो टू ड्रो ए सर्कल ऑफ फिफ्टी वन डायमीटर So this circle is drawn exactly at the center of it. Go to the features extrude <coughs> inverse direction. Click OK. <coughs> Exit the design component mode. Go to the mates. Select this phase and this phase. Click on distance. Enter the value of uh, 20 mm. Click OK. Click on here and click on view temporary axis. Select this line and select the front plane click ok select this face press ctrl plus 8 go to the motion study click on add-ins click on solid box uh, we don't want we don't want to work motion go ahead click on motion analysis click on contact click on use contact groups select this and in second one select this one click ok click on motor select this face edge basically click on distance enter the value of 360 0 to 10 seconds click ok Click on calculate. Select this face, press control plus 8. Let's increase the FPS for better quality. Let's make it 60. 60 FPS will take a long time to render. So, yeah. Click on calculate. Select this control plus 8. If you want to increase the animation quality, all you have to do is in 3D control resolution, make it high. But again, it's uh, increase the workload on PC. So choose as per your requirement and be careful. So that's for all today. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubts and queries, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.